If you guys are looking for a new pen spinning technique with which you can spin a pen totally 360 degrees, then this is the video that you're looking for. And I'm saying new pen spinning technique, that's because I highly suspect if anybody on YouTube has the same exact technique tutorial. Now, first of all, I'm making this video for the massive support that you guys have shown me on my last pen spinning video. It was amazing. And I'm also making this video for New Year. Today is 30th of December, that means day after tomorrow, is new year so happy new year everybody in advance so i hope you'll be enjoying this video let's start our today's tutorial this week's instagram feature goes to graduated gamers follow them on instagram link will be given in the video description I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Okay guys, this is what the pen spin looks like. Now let's say you're someone who's writing down something and then you're getting bored of it. Then you can just pause your writing for that moment and start spinning the pen from that same exact position. And then whenever you want to get back into this writing, then you can just pin the pen back to that position and start writing it down again. So that's why this is one of my favorite pen spinning techniques because anyone can do it and they can do it anywhere even while they're writing something down and uh, they can again get back to the writing position. So let's see how you can do this pen spinning technique. Okay guys this is how this pen spinning is done. Now for this spinning you need a pen which is evenly weighted on every part of its body. Not a pen which looks somewhat like this. This is a fancy pen and for that reason, for this type of designs, it is not evenly weighted on every part of his body. So you're going to use a pen like this and you have to open its cap because the cap is going to make one of the sides heavy, which you don't want to. So uh, at first, uh, let me clarify, this is a pen, not a pencil, even though pencil is written on it. Please don't comment that this is a pencil, not a pen, because this is a pen not a pencil even though it's written pencil over here now in my last video also i got many comments that it is a pencil because i used the same product with a different colored body it was having white colored and uh, it was having this pencil word written on its body and that's why people say that this is a pencil not a pen you cheated actually even if you do this trick with a pencil it's going to work because on a pencil you have got evenly weighted body so at first all you're going to do is you're going to hold this pen or the pencil like this as you write with it okay so that's the grip that you're going to start with then you're going to roll your thumb over the pencil or the pen just like that and then you're going to start pressing down with your thumb and start pushing out with your middle finger and you have to just play with this two type of pressures so that you can understand what amount of pressure that you have to give because if you give little amount of pressure the pen is going to get stuck and if you give more amount of pressure the pen is going to get fly away so for that reason you have to have perfect amount of pressure so that the pen gets out of this lock while you are pressing down with your thumb and pushing outside with your middle finger the pen tends to flick out just like that when it gets out of the lock from the thumb that you have created so when that happens, if you have the perfect amount of pressure, the pen is going to spin over the hand and come back to this position. So at this point, as you know that you have to have perfect amount of pressure, you have to practice this move, uh, this pressing move for, uh, for a quite long time, I guess, because you have to figure it out on your own. Because in my video, I cannot explain, or even in practical life, I cannot explain how much pressure you have to apply. You have to figure it out on your own because that is something you can feel. So that's the first part of the pen spinning that you need perfect amount of pressure. The second thing is perfect amount of balance because when you're spinning the pen, it is spinning above your hand and coming back to its same position. So since it is spinning above your hand and coming back to its same position, because of that, you have to have proper balance so that the pen does not fall off your hand. So that's why you need to have perfect balance and as you spin the pen, it should spin above your hand and since it's spinning above your hand freely, as you have perfect balance, it comes back to the same position and when it comes back to the same position, you just, you just relax your fingers like this as if you are going to hold the pen in the writing position and the pen comes here and just gets into this position between the index finger and the middle finger and stops itself and that's how you can spin the pen 
continuously for for the longer time you want so that's how this pen spinning actually works so you can also do this with a pencil as i said earlier because it has a similar type of body it has evenly distributed weight on every part of its body so that's why you can also do this with a pencil so while you write something when you get bored you can just start spinning your pen and whenever you are getting out of your boredom you can just spin it back to its position and continue writing so that's what the pen spinning uh, looks like and that's how it's done so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sholazari also if you have any questions you can use the comment section for that and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is a pretty savage channel I post entertaining videos and gameplays over there and the link to that channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack that Monday episodes peace